yep back out again I've had a rest from house moving oh, whew, it's really stressful isn't it house moving Got one week to go everything's more or less out um, so it's just a big push next week to get all the big stuff out and then I'll be shifted I've just taken a little break here at this house of doom I think it's a um, you can rent this there's nobody here Looks well kept inside, what I can see. Gorns are all tended. Hmm, interesting. That's Hedgehog up there. Back there. But I'm heading up the valley because... I'll tell you why I'm going up the valley. Because it's windy as hell. And I brought my lightweight gear out. My lightweight top tent. Pole walking pole tent I don't fancy its chances up a height so I'm gonna try and find a secluded little spot in the valley hopefully be nobody there if there is oh I'll have to keep walking and try and find a, another pitch but the place I've got in mind is a good spot like if there's nobody there I'll just take my breather here all right all right I'm gonna set off again Look at these clouds. I've brought my waterproof. Totally reliant on the weather. And the weather said 2% chance of rain. And that to me looks more like 50% chance of rain. Blown that way. Um oh, I don't know. Just want to get the tent up. Lovely valley this so it's remote. So if there's somebody in the spot that I've picked, I'll be alright because I've brought my bivvy bag. So I'll just I'll go further up the valley and just bivvy it. I use, the, use the pyramid tent. If I can get it flat, I'll use that. But if not, I can use that as a storage for my gear. Put my head under. But yeah, I brought the bivvy bag as a backup. Because the chances of somebody being here is quite high. It's a popular spot. Albeit since I filmed it, it's just my own fault, really. Right, let's crack on. Magic. Like a gazelle. There we are, there's nobody here. Great. I'm gonna pitch here. Because this is the best bit. Well, this is the best bit. Brave enough to go in on my own. <laughs> I might in the warmer weather. Ooh. Ah, champion. Good pitch. Good walk in. Actually, 2.9 miles. It took us just over an hour. Save that. Alright. So, the other good thing is, there's a little breeze but it's not wild. We're protected by this. So that's great, that's the shelter. Pitch here, and just look out there. 
all good. Let's get this tent up before this rain comes over. I don't want to get wet like I haven't got any dry stuff. Right, here we go. There we go. It's up. Doesn't look great, does it? This bit here. Inside. I'm gonna sell it like. It's too small for me that. I need more space than that, like I need um I need a bigger floor area for all my blimmin you know, I thrash about. I move around a lot. That doesn't uh I'm not sure about this bit either. I'm gonna flog it. Anybody wanna buy it? Best price. Not silly prices because it is still a really good tent. And then the, the material, it's all seam sealed. It's solid as a rock. Put up with quite a bit of wind that. I haven't even got that, that guy laying out. That'll pull that tight. Uh, we're stuck in a little valley. Got my water source. Got my bath, my shower. It's all here, like you could live here forever. You could actually live here forever. Just set a few traps. There's rabbits over there, I've seen them. They live on rabbits and water. Good diet. Get fit. Get fit, just go running up there every day, get yourself fit. What a place. This is how cavemen used to live. And the way things are going, we'll all be cavemen again soon. Let's hope not, eh? But yep, that's my little spot. I'm going to put all my stuff inside, I'll just show you the mat I've got now, I've bought a new mat. I bought a um, Thermarest mat, because the the seat, the summit one I've got, the winter mat, it's, it's too hot, too warm now. I think an R rating of 6, you don't need that for this weather. Plus the pack size is big, so it's better off in your winter bag. I've just brought my small bag today. Just trying out, just trying out my summer load out. For when um for when we do a few of these camps and it's all right it's good that bag get plenty in it everything i need's in there probably stuff i don't need as well like my chair i don't always take the chair but i'll show you the mat it's unbelievable it wasn't cheap i, did, I had to buy it i didn't get it for now i know i do get stuff for now but i didn't get this for now more's the pity thermarest i don't think thermarest gives stuff away to people like me <laughs> Let's see if I can get it. It's just in here somewhere. That's my stove. Here it is, there's the mat. The size of it, it weighs nothing. I've seen Craig with one the other day, Wild Camping 101. He had this, and I had one in my basket. I was looking at the um, I was looking for a summer mat and I had that in the basket. I thought, should I buy it? And then he was saying it was quite good, so I got it. So Craig, it's all your fault that I'm skint. Right, I'll blow it up and see how big it is. It's great. It's wide, I've got the wide fit. So it should be alright. There we are, it's up. That's wide, isn't it? Look at that, it takes up quite a bit of space. There's a full length of the tent. You get the pump bag with it. Pump sack. Tells you how to do it. It's got that um it's got that wing wing valve on it, the new wing valve. It's nice comfortable. It's not too noisy. Not like not like the other thermarest, it's actually quite quiet. Light as a feather. Packs away and out. Winning. Now Everybody knows it's not cheap. So the less said about that, the better. All right, so I'm just going to get the rest of my stuff set up and then get a beer. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I think it's, uh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, right, I got myself sorted. Whew. It's summer gear. Is my red rab bag 900. So I'm looking for suggestions. Summer bag about about 100 pounds. I don't want to go too crazy. It's only a summer bag. 
packs down small, keeps you warm. Because you know the summer in this country isn't, it's not like a Sahara in summer, is it? £100 budget. Well, that's the that's the rogue beer, Faith in Futures. Twist edition. Oh, what the twist is, who knows? Good game. Divine Faith. There's a lot of Northern Monk here. No star, that's uh, Black Forest Imperial Stout. 9%. That'd probably come home with us. That's it. Got my water filter. I'm going to get some water. I've got me Super Sparrow bottle. These are great, these you know. I mean, they're, they're all basically the same, but they are nice. Leanne bought one, good big one and a half litre thing. Using the discount code. <laughs> Aye, so the little chair's out. So I'm gonna sit back and crack a beer, it's five to six. Lovely little spot. So glad, so glad there's nobody here. I would have died if there'd been somebody here. That would have been the end of it. Right. Cheers. So you want to get some water and filter it. Um, you've got all this here. All right, this is the waterfall, the stream coming down. But there's always that chance that at the top of that waterfall there could be something like a dead sheep or whatever. Oop, ow, ow. I mean, if push comes to shove, you can have to, you're gonna have to take it. But what we have here is. Still let's do the rock. So the chances of this being contaminated are very slim because it's coming out the it's coming out the side of the hill. So what I'll do is I'll fill this up and I'll fill this up and that should keep us that'll be enough for tomorrow. But yeah, take it take it filtered from the rock if you can. This is better this is better than a stream, albeit this kills most germs. There's always that slight chance. So that's the advice. Take it from a source coming out of the hill. Because there's no stream above that. There's nothing to fall in it, you know what I mean? Whereas up there, upstream could be anything. Don't let it put you off though, because the chances are quite remote. The problem is it splashes everywhere. There you go. Get that filtered. Fall down the, fall down the rocks. <laughs> I'm down. Man down. Oh, there's thistles as well. Right to the predicament here. A couple of these should do it. Ah. 
I fill it up again, you get the general idea. There you go, that's a nice full cup of litre in there. You could probably drink that straight without uh, without filtering it to be fair, like. But you know, it's always better to be sure. Ugh. That's pure, that water there, it's probably better than what comes out your tap now. Use the filter, it's also come through the mountain. Problem here is getting over here. Just gotta, you just gotta put your faith in your boots. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow. Right. So I've got my water for tomorrow morning. Or later if I want a cup of tea. I can see I'm having a cup of tea when I'm drinking a few beers. Put the lid on to keep the creatures out. Craig Charles on the download. Gonna have my tea soon. I think it's about... I think I'll have my tea about 7 o'clock. Bring you back for that because it'll be nice. Cooking a big steak, a big ribeye. But for now I'm just chilling out with Craig. Got my sunglasses. Craig Charles, what more can you want? This is ideal, this is spot on this week. Tompo's missing out here. Don't know if it's picking it up. Look at that sky, it's weird. That's called Bumperos Claudosius. And that means it's gonna be a nice night. A actual nice night. Give me a little perch here. Look at us sitting here like the king of Sheba. Loving this, like, this is brilliant. Last time I came here with Tampo, we got nailed by midges at the bailout. The time before, I was pitched down there. And you can see it's on a bit of a, well, actually, it, it's all right. I think I was there, that flat bit there. So it wasn't too bad. You can get two tents here. You can get one big one. Bivy bags, you can get anything here, like, good little spot. Just don't have a fire, you know, just don't have an open fire. There is some fire pits down there, but they're overgrown. So I don't think anybody's had a fire for a while. Or if you feel the need, have one on the um, on the beach, on the rocks, so you can just wash it away. But it's best not to have fires. You know why, especially in the summer. Right, back to the music. It's time for the random can. A twist edition of Faith in Future. Now, this is normally in an orange can. I don't know what the twist is. Fruity, uh, I think it's got a bit more fruit in it. it doesn't really say. It doesn't tell you. Citrusy, tropical and juicy. I think they're all a bit like that, aren't they? I'm getting a bit fed up with the craft beer, me. I might start going back to the Wainwrights. Might not like. Right, we're gonna try it anyway. Let's see what we think. Faith in future futures. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Actually, that's quite nice. It's not strong. It's, uh, I see in that, 6.2%. Well, that's not really strong. It's all right, it is fruity and tropical. Mm. Quite like that, I could drink that. That's the best one of the random so far. So we're gonna cook um, asparagus and mushrooms in the garlic butter. Dab them in the garlic butter. We've got the 15 pound salt. I mean, I've only refilled that with salt twice and with pepper three times. Triggers broom, 15 pounds salt. And we have a massive ribeye steak to get through. So what I've done is I put oil in the bag. I put a bit of olive oil in the bag, threw the steak in. I mean, these are bake or foil Ziplocs, they don't, they don't leak. And then it's just like sat in the olive oil. So I'll just throw that in the pan as is. Get the hot pan on, and that's it. So yeah, looking forward to that. Asparagus is lovely, done in the garlic butter. 
kitchen of the day. It's in season, isn't it? So, cheapest chips. Got my little cooking spot here. And that's it. I'm just going to have a couple more little sips of this. It's quite nice. Ah, it is nice, that. That is quite nice. It's got a lovely aftertaste. It's quite refreshing, actually. Faith in features. Mmm. With a twist. Twist edition. Not a clue. You could give us you could give us a kind of brown ale, I would think it was Northern Monk. I wouldn't know the difference. I just make it up as I go along. I think everybody does. Oh yeah, it's fruity, it's tropical. You haven't got a clue, man. Nobody has. Just drink it. Just drink it and shut up. <laughs> the mushrooms in. Steak resting over there. Medium rare. Ah, oh, yes. Some mushrooms in. I've got the peppercorn sauce, didn't I? And the pan's not exactly flat, which is not helping. Should have had some to prop it up. This paragus is in. Ugh. Five second rule. See the gas. Invert the gas. It's running out. That's a good thing about that stove. You can invert the gas. It's good. You get the um. You get all of it out that way. Yeah, this won't take long. A couple of inches in the pan. I've got the peppercorn sauce. Ah, I might have said that already. But man, not gonna made it ideal, but not to worry. You get the flavour of the asparagus and the mushrooms without the peppercorn sauce. So yeah, a couple of minutes there. And we'll be ready to go. So we were gone. The finished article. Oh my god. That is so nice. The asparagus. Ah, oh, got a crunch. Salty, garlic butter. Absolutely beautiful. The steak's beautiful. Everything's beautiful. The world is a great place today, like. Not the minute here, I'm off grid, no internet. Just me downloads, Craig Charles in this. I mean, come on. What's not to like here? Right, we'll see you on the other side. Well, I'm in bed. I've got the the lights outside there. Um, so that's it, really. Oh, had a good night. Had a really good chilled out night. Ah, oh, it does the soul good just to get out and do a bit of wild camping. Sounds like it's raining, I don't think it is though. It's not raining, it's just the water. It's the water in the river. <laughs> right, so we'll see you in the morning for the Heidi High campers and remember I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. 
All right. Good night, everybody. Morning, campers. I've stopped doing that. It's daft. I'm sensible now. So, had a good sleep. I went to bed about half ten. Snackered like. What a place to wake up to. Birds singing. Oh dear, it gets light about five o'clock in the morning. I was wide awake, five o'clock. It's about seven now. So I'm just gonna um, boil that water up that I made yesterday. Get a cup of coffee, you know. Go, pack and go. I'm not gonna rush, just a slow pack. And then it's three miles back. Three mile hike. It's all flat, so that's easy enough. It only took us about an hour to get here yesterday. So, we'll come back after this coffee for the clear up. So, that's it. Now, what time is it? Well, quarter to eight. That was where I was, just a patch of grass. Just leave it as you found it, or better if you can. It's a lovely little spot, canny, nice and flat. If you get a tent there, you get one down here, and there's some space around there as well. But just don't have a fire. Please don't have a fire here. There's no need. All right, that's enough preaching. Gotta get over these rocks of death. I could be killed here. I mean, this is a dangerous ravine, this. It is sketchy. They're slippy, some of them. It's not how deep the water is, it's the fact that you could land on the bloody rock, bang your head, crack your head open. Walk on the dry ones. Why, I'm like a professional man. You'd think I'd rehearse that. Ugh. Oh, oh, I'm gonna trip over on a bit of grass. Right, so one last look at my little spot, little oasis, as you were. Right, come back. Now look, there's bees everywhere, they're all out. Good morning. Should have some sugar water for him. Ah, I feel bad for him, like there's no pollen for them to gather. I think they've come out too early. They've peaked too soon. Right, we're up. Oh, we're up the top now. This is a path back. Well, I'm gonna finish it here. There's not really much to uh, see, to talk about. I was up in that valley, about one and a half miles up there. And I've got about two miles to go back to the car. So I'm definitely moving next week. The rest of my stuff has to go next week. Like city and fridge, cooker and that. So I'm not looking forward to that. So that's me stuck next Saturday, I won't be out. And the week after, ooh, there's a great big massive deer just ran across the road there. Huge. Um, the weekend after, the Queen's Jubilee weekend, I am booked a, booked a hotel in Scotland for that weekend. So, and that will overrun the Saturday again. So it's gonna be at least three weeks before I'm out. Oh, that deer was massive. It's gone, just gone. And I so three weeks back out. Don't know where. Don't know how. So we'll see you then. Oh, watch out, buddy. We'll catch it on that next one. Oh, there they are. There's two of them up there. You can't make them out on this. So there is deer around here. 
Right, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.